I need a name for this thing. I need a name for it. I was thinking about calling it uh, the same name as my wife, just because it's, you know, it's it's such a strong, gorgeous-looking thing. But it, you know, it really, really sort of mean. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> strong, beautiful, mean. All these descriptive words. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's a really, really special day. Long overdue. Uh, today's the day that I'm gonna kind of unveil uh, my new car, my dream car. And now I've had it for a week. I've filmed my my delivery sort of you know expedition, my delivery journey from LA to uh, to I was gonna say Toronto to Philadelphia. Uh, that's all ready to be edited and everything. But I I, I didn't want to put that video out until I unveiled the actual car, the spec, and kind of go through a little walkthrough here of my absolute dream car, the one that I've wanted for so long. A lot of thanks to a lot of people who have kept me going, kept me working hard, kept the dream alive through it all. Um, really, really grateful that I finally gotten here and this car, my God, I think a, a lot of me thought that when I got the car, I was skeptical to know if it was gonna be everything that I actually thought it was gonna be. And you know, there's some, there's been some issues with the ownership and stuff like that we can get into a little bit later on. Uh, but the car is absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's been everything that I cost, that I would want um, and more. It's, um, it really um, makes me a happy person. So without further ado, let's get into a little bit of crazy B-roll, put some nice music behind it. Uh, continue watching the video because we're going to go through a full you know little review of the whole car I'm going to show you the interior I'm going to show you the spec I'm going to show you why I chose each sort of individual sort of addition uh, you know I absolutely spec this one out perfect spent a lot of time looking for this particular car um, I'm going to tell you what mods I've done what's coming up next um, and watch the video subscribe to the video because um, I've got a POV where I'm going to be going ripping around in it in the next couple of days and really pushing the car and get some good sound from it uh, and I'm going to do a bunch of other stuff as well I'm going to be getting uh, this this little baby some friends so we're going to be socializing a little bit we're going to go meet up with some other um, you know other car owners that are from the same model I'm, I'm going to stop talking let's unveil the car here it is my 2019 Mercedes-Benz C63 S coupe All right, so enough of my blabber. Hopefully you enjoy that B-roll of the car. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get straight into it. This is gonna be quick information, give you guys a full look around of, uh, of my spec, okay? So 2019 Mercedes-Benz C63. This is the S version and it's in the coupe form, okay? It came with, or it comes stock with 503 horsepower from a twin turbo V8. Um, it comes with 516 foot-pounds of torque, um, and it's a rear-wheel drive car. So this thing is an absolute menace on the car. Even at, at idle, it's just, it's got this deep sort of growl. AMG really, really sort of does it right when it comes to, um, you know, we call this sort of a German muscle car, right? It's not built for, you know, straight line speed, you know, comparable to like, you know, a Porsche Turbo S or something like that. It's a little bit heavier than its competitors. Um, you know, the BMW M4, the Audi RS5, um, you know, the Porsche, you know, call it the, the Cayman S and stuff like that. A little bit heavier, but much more luxurious and with a big eight cylinder. So it has that grunt, it has that presence, um, it has that luxury. And personally, I think from a styling standpoint, you guys tell me what you think, but it's, I love the lines of it. It's just got that nice, girthy sort of wide rear you know big chunky tires at the back quad exhausts now the exhausts are showing quad nice rear splitter there but showing 
quad exhaust, but actually have one pipe, which is weird. They have AMG here, which is kind of cool, but AMG says that if you, the reason they designed them that way is so that if you get into a little fender bender, a little ding, and it ruins the back, it's not gonna ruin your whole exhaust system. It's gonna be just a, a little bit, I guess a little bit easier of a fix. It's obviously, a, we're talking a huge cost if someone dings the back of this thing, but not as bad as if they actually messed up your whole exhaust. So coming around, this, um, this one I actually wanted the black rims which come with the what's called the AMG night package. This one doesn't actually have the night package. The night package is the black rims, um, the black front splitter, which is in chrome, which, which which is right here, which I'm actually starting to love now. When I first bought the car, I was like, I'm gonna switch that out right away. That's gonna be gone right away. I'm starting to really like that, just that little chrome sort of accent. Um, but it's also supposed to come with these little window sills blacked out. And now tell me what you think, because originally I was like, no, I, you know, I really need to get those black right away, right away. And the windows were tinted about two, three days ago. Um, I did them in Expel uh, ceramic IR um, co coating or um, window tint. Um, where did I do it? Where did I do it? I forget the, the I forget the place I did it. It was in it was in Philadelphia. It cost about six hundred bucks, and they did it on the spot. It took an hour. It was it was really really good, quick job, um, and it blocks out. It's meant to block out the highest amount of UV rays. So my thinking was to go high quality to be able to protect the interior, protect your skin and everything when you're um, you know when you're rolling around and stuff like that. It's it's nice. Um, privacy is also really really important as well. I mean you get a lot of looks in this car. People are always looking at you, just about every single time you're in the car every second you're in the car which can get to be a little bit some people love it but it can get to be a little bit much so um, that, that's that's the kind of AMG package it, it didn't come with the AMG AMG package but the first owner so this one's got 20,000 miles it had one owner perfect driving record after three years the guy only put 19,000 19, um, miles on it um, he babied it he you know he made some additions to it and um, I actually think it's the perfect spec for, for me I think it's the absolute perfect spec so i th i think the car the car does come in uh brilliant blue which is like a navy blue which looks really really cool it comes in a nice silver which looks kind of cool as well i think it's just called silver metallic or something like that it comes in a polar white uh, and it comes in one that i actually wanted but now i'm realizing how much maintenance this thing is and it's called designo gray magno which is just a matte like a like a, a matte uh, gray great finish um, which is which looks freaking awesome it looks amazing but you know when you go to code it it's a little bit extra if you did PPF it would cost a little bit extra you just if it gets chipped there's no there's no finishing it there's no buffing it out there's no nothing it's a repaint it's like you know you have to do that whole panel again so the cost and the 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 you know the upkeep and the 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 stress that comes along with it is it's probably best that I didn't get it plus I could I could take this car when I get sick of this car uh, or this color, excuse me, I'm never gonna get sick of this car. I'm gonna, um, I potentially could wrap it anyways in, you know, in the Designo um, Gray Magno anyways, you know, and it'll act as like a little buffer for rock chips anyways. So again, not to get off, su off subject, but I, in the last couple of days, video coming, I've done a full wash, I've done a detail, I've done paint decontamination, paint correction of this thing, and it's got a full ceramic graphene, ceramic coating on it from Adams Graphene. And some, some people love that stuff, some people don't. Some people have their choice of, of ceramic coating that they will, would go with. I feel like, you know, I did a lot of research and I feel like graphene ceramic is, is the way to kind of go these days. But it was my first time, it was experimental, it was extremely tedious, I had to polish it all out, to decontaminate it, to clay bar it, I had to wash multiple times I had to you know isopropyl um, alcohol degrease it a couple times I'd wash it again my neighbors were pissed off that I was that I was polishing like at all hours of the night trying to like beat the sunlight going down but it all worked out so in my opinion this is um, obsidian black this is the car this is the color that I was after and it I feel like the paint looks so good now it's 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 just about a hundred percent in terms of the quality there's a few little little bugs on it because I've you know I've been ripping around today but um, it's about day three into day three or four into its de de coating sort of phase so it's not supposed to get water on it for two days and then ten days of no washing it so after that it's gonna get a little dirty from driving around after that I'll give it another sort of maintenance wash and bring it back to uh, to full speed but but um, yeah, a lot of information. This is kind of where it's at. Uh, so another little addition. This is a huge, huge thing that I really, really wanted. Whether I got it right away or whether I uh, put it on my myself, they're very costly. But um, carbon fiber 
uh, mirror housings, mirror caps. I wouldn't call them caps because they're, they're, I think they're straight from Mercedes Benz. And I think you had to take the piece off and put them on. I don't think it's like Mercedes or um, like BMW where every little like, you know, aftermarket part, if you want to, if you want to take something from stock in a, in a BMW and make it carbon fiber, you buy the piece, you clip it over top. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is different. This is an actual, like it's a new, it's a new mirror that's just housed in carbon fiber. So, you know, with that, I think comes a lot more cost and a lot more anguish. So for good or for bad, but um, regardless, they both look good on, on BMW. It looks really, really good. Um, and it's easy to install. Um, mind you, BMW stuff, I think is pretty expensive as well. We're talking good car, good quality carbon fiber. So you're going to pay for it, right? If you want good carbon, you're going to pay for it. But I think they look freaking awesome. Okay. And so just to kind of complement that, right? We're going to come around here and we have another little beautiful touch as well. Like I'm so in love with carbon fiber, this big, huge carbon fiber wing on the back. So in love. And I hope you guys can catch that. Look at how, the, how that just glistens off the sun. It's like that piece to me, like I could just make out with it right now. It's so nice. Like I'm just, just want to stand here and pet it. Anyways, cut, cut that. <laughs> Uh, so just coming around the back of the car, right? Obviously I mentioned it's so girthy, right? It's got its badgings here, nice big Mercedes logo. When people get up behind you and they see this, they see those, those vents there, how wide the arches are, right? They see the quad exhaust, that big, huge splitter, and they see 63S. They're like, okay, shit, that's, that's something real. You know what I mean? That thing's not playing around. And so just looking at the back of it, it's got that nice sort of girthiness to it. Maybe without further ado, I'll start it up and give you a few nasty revs of this bad boy, okay? Here we go, let's go. Okay, so what I just gave you there was race mode. Um, I haven't been driving it really in race mode for about a week and a half. Um, I've been driving it in Sport Plus mode the majority of the time, and I'm actually realizing that race mode has a lot more crackles, a lot more pops, and it's, it's it, you know, if you're trying to flex, it's a little bit more fun. Uh, it's a little louder, obviously burns more gas, but um, it takes traction control right off. So this is when you wanna get really squirrely, when you're, you know, when you're, when you're about to race someone, when you need suspension in the craziest, fastest, this suspension in the craziest, hardest mode, right? Where it's, f where it's going right over the bumps. It's not floating over the bumps. It's just bang. Sure, if you want your shifts to be as quickly as possible, um, you need full out max torque, max power. Um, so that's kind of where you're at. I basically drive it in Sport Plus the majority of the time because it's loud. It's got a little bit of crackles. You know, it gives me enough for all the, the day to day kind of pulls exhaust is open it's a little bit rough but it's not crazy rough and um it's got a 10 speed uh, 10 speed or 10 stage traction control which i'm going to show you that keeps it to about half that's that's manual progr programmable and i've got it to about five six out of ten so it keeps you safe right while still being able to flex a little bit comfort mode is kind of reserved just checking if my battery is on uh, comfort mode is more reserved for when you're coming out in the morning and you don't want to annoy your neighbors when you're going into work, stuff like that, right? When you want to be sort of relaxed a little bit. And again, that's all customizable. You can be in comfort mode and turn your exhaust um, on. You can you can harden your your um, your suspension a little bit. You can play around with this. So this thing, the cool thing about this car is that it's it's like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's got so many different personalities. Now, when we do go inside the car and I show you the spec, it does have a sport a sport mode as well. So we're talking slippery, right? I'm gonna show you that in a second. Um, for rain and you know, and snow, it's got a comfort mode for when you're relaxed and you're calm and you're not going crazy. Uh, it's got a sport, which, you know, I really don't know when you would be in sport. You're either comfortable or sport plus when you're flexing or race mode when you're all out mayhem and you wanna be unsafe as hell. Um, so I don't know what the sport is, but maybe it's just like if you're getting a little bit worried about your gas and shit like that. Um, which is which is becoming a thing these days for me. Frick, I spend so much time. I spend a shitload of time at the gas station. Everyone to told me, all my buddies warned me, you're gonna be at the gas station an awful lot. I was like, ah, oh, God, how, how bad could it be? I know prices are bad, how bad could it be? I'm there, I was there yesterday. I'm half a tank now. So every second day, every third day, it's ridiculous. Mom, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry. I should have been smarter with my money. 
<laughs> Let's move to the interior. All right, so popping into this interior and my God, this interior literally, like it really, really does it for me. So let's just get in the car. You can tell I'm a serious Mercedes fanboy. Nice little start up here. Let's get some of the lighting going on here. We'll close this down so it's a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler, excuse me. Okay, and so take a look at this spec now that we're in here, okay? So, first of all, this is the, it's called the um, the, the digital display, okay? It's the it's the newer digital display. So these new, these cars from, nine, from 2019 to 2021 have the V8, have the new front grille that you saw. It's called the, the well, they call it the AMG specific grille now. It used to, call, it used to be called the Panamericana grille, uh, but it's the AMG new facelifted grille. This is also an option. And so the old one is very analog. This one is extremely controllable, right? You can go into the modes here. You can change that up, right? You can go there. You can hit that. Bang! I'm doing it all from the steering wheel, right? I can go over and I can, I can adjust. I don't know if you can see my heads-up display on there. Yeah, you probably can see it. Yeah. I can mess with my heads-up display if I want. Change the position. I can change the brightness. I can display what it. I can change what it's displaying. Like this thing does absolutely everything. Get my phone, right? I can get my phone right in there, calling different people, right? It just, th this this car is like a computer. It does everything. You just can't get bored with this thing. It's, it's unbelievable. And then if we go over here to this one, this is now controlling that. Okay, so I can go through there. I can get my, my car telemetry. This is kind of what I do with this one, is I can go in there. I can go down to dy dynamic select. That's gonna show all my modes. And I can go into engine data, see what the engine's doing. So when I'm revving hard on it, let's take a look at this. I'm revving hard on it, you know, you can see what it's doing. It's kind of cool, there's a million things you can do. But, you know, I don't want to get too too in depth with this stuff, but let's just, let's move through a little bit more. So another little addition here is this big fountain, this big waterfall here, that needs to be off at all times, um, in carbon fiber. This can be got, you can get this in silver, like a chrome, kind of like the door panel there. I don't really like it, I don't know why they wouldn't go carbon fiber right through the whole thing, but, uh, I think carbon fiber is the best sort of addition for, for this piece. You can get it in black wood trim, which actually looks pretty cool, but I think this is the way to go. It's the most sporty sort of, um, you know, way to do it. The other addition that I got, and I think this is this what is kind of what makes the car sort of so unique, is it's called the AMG drive unit, right? So right from here, I, I have the option to change my drive modes from there if I want, right? You can see that. Right, that opens up the exhaust, that can take me to race mode, just all of my crazy modes from here if I want. I can torque the suspension, or excuse me, I can go to manual transmission there, I can go to suspension, I can go to my 10 stage traction control, so let me just hold this for a second and I'll show you on the display here. Watch this, bang, that comes up, and from there it's on my thing here, I can torque that a little bit. When that's completely off, you're literally in big trouble because your ass end is gonna get out. So I keep it to about six. I keep it to about five, just to be to be reasonably safe. You know, I wanna be reasonably safe. So yeah, this is to open up your exhaust here. That's your start stop. I keep that off every time there's your volume, right? So what's cool about it is that all of these controls, this, all this stuff controls there as well, but all of that is controlled by here, right? And by here. So I'm in comfort mode right now and my exhaust is closed. I can open it up and be in comfort mode and I can make the the um, the suspension sport. So mediocre, semi-rough. I can make it really hard, right? Or I can bring it back to the default, right? From there, I can go, I can go individual mode, which is what I've customized to paddles, um, middle sport suspension, so it's not completely soft, but it, it kind of rolls over the bumps, and full attack on the exhaust. Um, you can go over even more, bang, bang, and then you're in sport. This is the one I never use because I feel like it's just kind of in between. It's not really useful. The exhaust is closed. You can go to Sport Plus, which is my kind of mean mode, and the absolute full attack crazy is race mode. And if I were to go into track telemetry, so let's go over here and I'll show you something really cool here. If I go into the the um, the car and I go back, right? I can go back again and then take a look at this. This is called track pace. 
we go in here and it's gonna give you a little prompt saying, hey, listen, only use this on the track. <laughs> Cause if you're on the city streets, you're gonna get a little bit crazy with this. It says AMG there, really, really cool, man, really cool. It just shows that you're kind of in a, in a race car. It's got, um, it's got uh, track race, so it's gonna bring up all different tracks from around the, um, around the country, right? Which is so, so freaking cool. Look at this, oh, Circuit of Americas. You know, it's got everything. Nuremberg, Nuremberg Ring, Norschleife. That's my favorite ring in the world. It's my favorite la my favorite track in the world. It's got everything, man. It's just so cool. My dream is to take this car to the track one day and just, just kind of experience it. So uh, we bounce back in there and uh, we go back in there. And um, yeah, if I just hit sort of over, bang you can get you can drag race it you can get tra track telemetry on how you're doing while you're driving you know if you're too hard on the on the brakes it even shows you lines that you need to take when you're on the track so this thing's freaking awesome it's it's amazing um let's let's get back into the options that i've sort of optioned out so again the next option and this is the option i didn't think i was going to get i'm just going to review uh, back back up my seat a little bit so i can show you guys this is what i didn't think i was going to get but i got so lucky and that's the carbon fiber steering wheel this is about a fifteen hundred dollar or a thousand dollar um, option it looks so good flat bottom steering wheel right nice and chunky it's got Alcantara on the side right they call it Dynamica um, and then you know nice chunky paddles here as well right um, really really pleased with this um, with this steering wheel it's really really cool to look at um, and then coming around the interior um, I went for all black black on black i thought that was really really cool but what was the, the like the piece de resistance that i really wanted is that i was able to find a car that had yellow trim instead of just having a lame sort of black um, interior this one has yellow trim on it okay and obviously it's an s so it's got extra horsepower and it comes with that cresting on the back headrest on both of them you should see it there and that's another huge huge thing that i really really wanted when you're in the base models they don't have that right and it just it's just blank this this looks so good look at how look at how gorgeous that looks right i think that's a really really nice piece um take a look up there that's your sunroof right nice big sunroof super super cool right you gotta remember you're in a luxury sort of vehicle right so it's you know it's it's gonna give you all the creature comforts that you need um this one was cool because it comes with heated which is an option but also ventilated seats and that was something that was rare to find this this car was actually really really the spec was pretty hard to find with this with the with the grill or the grill is 2019 but this the um the the um the display in the front the the drive unit um it comes with 64 co um, color ambient lighting so we could go in here we can kind of mess around with that if you if you want to take a look i'm a little bit new to this so like maybe i go system let's see how quickly we can find it here display and designs let's see let's see designs it should have my ambient lighting here somewhere designs no no um yeah i don't know i'm not gonna be able to find it but uh, no big deal uh personalization here we go uh no anyways take my word for it but um, I've got the ambient lighting on. It looks really, really cool. It's all lit up through the through the the wheel well um, at night. I've got it to like a dark purple. I find it. It looks like a Miami Beach Club in here when I'm when I'm driving this at night. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned for my next video because I'm gonna take this for a POV drive. I'm gonna put the the camera right sort of there, looking down. I'm just gonna rip around the city a little bit and give you that full sort of experience at night. Engine freaking in race mode, and we're gonna rip through it. So that's kind of, you know, the, the spec. Um, I'll get into the particulars of how much the car costs. I'll get into all that stuff in future videos. Um, again, I haven't done a lot of, hope I didn't, um, I hope I didn't uh, forget anything, but I haven't done a lot of uh, modifications to it. Um, I forgot to talk about the the Burmeister high high quality sound system. I can't play anything for you for copyright uh, purposes, but this has got a nice beautiful metal housing here. More speakers over there, more in the back as well. If you can see that, not a lot of space back there because it's a coupe. But who who needs it? You don't need it. I'm all, all I'm doing th is throwing my gym bag back there. Um, but that's kind of the the spec i'll get into all the sort of particulars of the car and um you know how much it costs and you know my plans for more mods i'm going to do a bunch of meetups in the in the next um sort of little while um with some some other cars you know some other amgs are going to go to a couple couple amg meetups and have a little bit of fun 
Um, I hope I didn't leave anything out, but that's that's the car. There's a nice little front splitter. I forgot to tell you, it comes in a nice little little extra splitter there, which is really really cool. Very easy to bang on on things when you're when you're going in and out of like you know shopping malls and stuff like that. Um, but it's the car has been absolutely amazing. I'm super super happy with it. Um, you know, it's a bit of a cost. Um, but it uh, for, for the amount of, of joy that it gives you it's um, it's really it's really really made me um, made me pleased um, so that's it that's the car um, you know I hope you guys will I hope you guys will subscribe to the video because in the next uh, or sorry, subscribe to the channel because in the coming you know coming videos I've got a lot of cool stuff that I'm gonna be doing with it as I mentioned um, you know potential to tune it up this thing's got about a, a year and a little bit left of warranty but i could tune it up to 650 horsepower you know i could um you know i could potentially do the um the trim here and all black um yeah I, there's 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 other things that i could do to it i mean i could do some down pipes and make it a little bit crazy but um i would love to hear from you guys i mean what do you think of this car should is this the is this the dream car for you is this what you would have chosen would you have chosen in this spec what are some ideas for you know what i can do to this thing what would you guys do to it right keeping in mind that it's it's under warranty still right i want to do some fun things with it but it's about a it's about two weeks into the ownership for me stock out of the box this thing is absolutely ridiculous um what would you do with it you know what i mean what are some options for this for this car because i brought the car to the channel for the channel for you guys to experience it so you guys let me know what you think and um let's uh let's take this car to the next level let's enjoy it together okay and if, if anyone's in the sort of philadelphia pennsylvania area and you guys want to meet up um and do a couple you know a couple rips or you know you want to take this thing for a little spin you've got a cool car and you want to switch it out um film some content have a little bit of fun let's uh let's do it man because i um i really want to share the the amazingness of this car with a lot of people because it um I tell you, this car is a, it's just a shot of life. It, it really makes you feel alive when you're in it. So um, that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do a few more little pulls for you guys and try and get a little bit more of that B-roll. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video. You know, again, subscribe. There's gonna be a lot more cool stuff with this uh, C63, 500 horsepower beast. Here's another cool thing. I need a name for this thing. I need a name for it. I was thinking about calling it uh, the same name as my wife just cause it's, you know, it's it's such a strong, gorgeous looking thing, but it, you know, it really, really sort of mean, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> strong, beautiful, mean, all these descriptive words. I was thinking my, my, my wife's name came to mind right away because I thought it would be fitting. You know, this this thing can like, as beautiful as it is, it could freaking kill you in the in an instant. You know, it can turn on you in an instant. You know what I mean? But when you're babying it, it'll be the loyalist thing to you. You know what I mean? So, give me give me some ideas for some uh, for some cool names. I was thinking, you know, I could call it the Beast. That's that's what it is. It's the Beast. That's what comes to mind right away. But give me some cool ideas as to what we can uh, what we can name her and what we can do for. Her, okay. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and um, stay tuned. It's gonna be fun. Later. All right, so I'm actually embarrassed. Before I finish up this video, one of the most sort of amazing things about an AMG car, a specific AMG, we call it real AMG. There's that's a topic of conversation. There's a lot of real AMGs out there. They, you know, C43. Don't get me started. I mean, I'm a C63S owner, so I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be the guy who says, you know, it's not a real AMG, this and that. But I appreciate AMG, I understand what they're doing. I understand they're trying to give opportunity to more people to getting involved in the car. Um, the 43 has four wheel drive systems, so with the potential to really take it up another level. Don't think it quite has that same sound, but I, I appreciate it. I love the brand, I do love the brand. So what I was getting at is that the brand AMG has what's called one man, one engine. So an AMG certified master technician gets the, gets the engine and is literally with it from its infancy all the way up until it's when it's har harmonized with the body of the car. And it's called one man and one engine, okay? So let's just take a look at mine. I know my guy, his name's Omar Osbeck. I know him very well, I found him on Instagram. He's my boy. I've been dying for one of these, these engines for like the longest time. Um, and so in addition to, to making this beautiful twin turbo V8 engine, this is getting, this is getting fixed right now. Just a little tear here. Um, in addition to it, uh, he stamps his name. 
Look at that, I'll follow their back, AMG handcrafted by Omar Osbat. And so I've been driving this thing quite a bit. I, I can see why all of this needs to be functional. It needs to be open, because there needs to be air coming through here, because this thing, this these turbocharges, they get freaking hot. They get so hot when you're harping down on this thing. I can't touch it at all. Funny story is that when I ha first had the car, I literally was harping around on it, destroying the car, not destroying the car, but driving it real hard. Went around to get some groceries and put my foot right over here take a look at this so funny come over here all right and i'm getting some groceries i don't know if you can see that and i put my foot right down there burn myself right on the the exhaust so this thing's that she can be a bitch she can be she can sting you she can burn you so you just got to be real careful with something this beautiful you just got to be real careful you know mind-boggling speeds you can lose your license in a heartbeat so um yeah i finished the video already but i wanted to come back and just um you know, because this is a really, really important piece of the car is that one man, sort of one engine. So Omar, I think that's Omar. I mean, I read that as Omar Osbeck. Uh, and I, again, I've, I have found him on, on Instagram. But um, Omar, if you're watching this video, uh, shout out to you, man. You, you designed a beautiful engine, knock on wood, after two weeks, uh, well, second owner, two weeks. Uh, knock on wood that it, that it, uh, that it stays true that it, and it, it survives the test of time because I'm... Uh, I'm beating on her, but um, but no, no, I love it. I love it. I really, really appreciate you making a good engine. So without further ado, thanks a lot, guys. Subscribe to the video. Hit like. 100 likes. I give out a free gift card, $100 to Apple. Um, you know, stay tuned to more videos, right? Like, share, comment. Let me know what you think of this beast. All right, see you in the next video.